Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, thank you very much for joining me. Uh, on this channel, I document my luxury uh, purchases of beautiful items from the perspective of someone who wants to purchase mindfully as well as from the perspective who is very uh, of someone who is new to this luxury journey, um, who is also a working mom of a young family. Um, if this is something that you would enjoy, please consider subscribing and don't forget to thumbs up the video if you have enjoyed watching it. So today I have a few unboxings to do. Um, this is actually a bit of a, let's say, completely impulse uh, purchase because I have been trying to upgrade my wardrobe very gradually and slowly and whenever I see something that um, fits the bill of what I, I am looking for um, that is of a bargain um, that's when I purchase it so this is actually um, what I have uh, purchased from the department store in Australia called David Jones um, it's the brand Claudie Pierre Lot um, I think it's a Parisian brand um, and it's just such a good bargain um, with the uh, discount um, and it is a simple black top with grey um, short sleeves um, something that I am just uh, looking for uh, in my wardrobe um, casual but can be um, looking very chic um, depends on how you style it and if you were to style it with a pearl necklace I think it does dresses it up a bit um, the reason why I purchased this is because I could see it's very well made like the seams um, the fabric is uh, cotton I can uh, wash it on that gentle cycle um, just yeah something very um, simple um, yet chic and the color is just perfect for my uh, skin tone uh, according to my recent analysis um, so you can see uh, it's actually quite reasonable pricing this is in um, AUD Australian dollars such a good bargain um, loving it uh, and uh, so versatile um, I can you know make it work for very casual if I was to pair it with a jeans but if I was to uh, pair it with just pants um, you know and just style it up with some jewelry I think it would equally uh, work as a not formal but more of an outing um, day outing look so that's the first piece um, now on the same day, I also had an appointment at uh, Hermes with my essay. Um, I will unbox the few items that I purchased uh, from Hermes. Um, I am actually very much falling in love with the brand. Um, again, maybe I, uh, I haven't really decided whether I want to quote a bag, but I'm certainly enjoying my... Um, picotine that I have purchased um, so if you've missed that video I'll link it um, on the screen for you to take a look um, but I thought it's a good opportunity for me to uh, pick up their uh, makeup uh, eye palette as well um, I am not uh, very good at applying makeup um, but I thought I'll try this uh, very bougie palette um, and I think the case being uh, sort of, you know, you, it's refillable, um, that sort of ticks the box uh, in terms of sustainability and mindful purchase for me. That's a plus. Um, but the other reason, main reason is I need to really change my um, makeup palette um, since my current analysis that I found out I'm a winter palette um, so that's the reason why I need to and plus I think my makeup palette is um, actually expiring as well so I thought it's a good opportunity for me to try um, the Hermes uh, makeup because I don't 
really wear makeup too frequently I only wear, sort of wear it uh, on my work days um, I know some of the people find that the uh, palette um, you know for what it's the cost it's quite small the amount that you get but you know for me someone who doesn't wear makeup um, every single day um, you know the, the, the amount of uh, powder really doesn't matter too much like I'm currently using Urban Decay palette and I have to say it's past its use by date for quite a few months now but because I keep it in quite good condition um, it's not you know it's, it's still quite uh, clean I'm not getting sort of pimples after wearing those eyeshadow but you know it, it just goes to show like I don't use it a lot so I have trouble finishing off the palette before the expiry date so for me having small amount in a palette isn't necessarily a deal breaker um, and this type of color it's really um, you know something that works well with my skin tone just doing a few swatches here look I have to say this base color doesn't really show up much um, but I guess that's that's the function of it. It's a it's meant to be a base color, um, you know, basically just meant to even out the skin tone on the eyelids. I'm assuming, um, so I'm not expecting it to show really. So yeah, it may more serve the function of just um, absorbing. I guess making a clean base and. Um, you know absorbing some of the oil on my eyelids and I do have very oily eyelids um, now this is the glitter uh, one and it's a not a um, I like how it's more of a silver tone glitter so again it fits into my winter uh, palette and this pink it's quite vibrant um, on the brush uh, but you know when you put it on against my skin it's quite a nice touch of pink it's not overdoing it uh, which is what I like um, I know some people have said look uh, the, they're not too impressed in terms of the color pickup but for a person who is not great at eye makeup look again it probably is not a deal breaker because it just allows me to slowly build up the color um, so I'm not likely to make huge mistakes and overdo the coloring now this plum color is again uh, part of my winter palette um, and yeah look I quite like it um, I just provides a good shadow um, it might be a good color for me to sort of um, frame the eye or line the eye um, underneath my eyeliner uh, my blue Chanel eyeliner I think that would actually work quite well and yeah look the glitter does pick up quite well when you use it on the fingertip um, yeah quite happy and again the packaging I'm a sucker of packaging um, and makeup packaging um, so the fact that this is um, a very elegant stylish uh, makeup uh, case um, that is refillable I think it ticks all the right boxes for me and plus you know I get to um, build my uh, purchase is history at Hermes uh, for that one day if I do decide to um, start looking at uh, quota bags but yeah look I think um, this is a good shade against my uh, skin tone so um, definitely will uh, make use of this eye makeup palette um, I might sort of do a further review down the track um, to let you all know how whether I am enjoying this uh, palette whether it is serving a good purpose in my life um, very lovely case I love the, uh, the feel of it Now this other item I have been um, putting on my wish list on my phone. I've been looking for a thin 
um, Hermes leather belt for wearing dresses um, and it's funny that I've actually thrown away my one single dress um, full sort of full length dress that I have because um, I don't wear it often I, I don't find it flattering on me and now I would know the reason why is because that dress is mainly beige in color which is not really uh, my winter time palette so I'm donating that one um, but um, I have managed to find a dress belt um, at Hermes um, and now I know to uh, pick something that is of my color tone um, so that it will match you know whatever dress I end up um, getting and I did get a dress this time but uh, let's focus on the belt um, so this is the um, very popular uh, reversible uh, belt um, that is in uh, Epson with the color Noir which is black and e on the other side um, and I have paired it with a silver tone um, hardware and this is the heritage um, uh, heritage uh, style hardware um, I think it's called the heritage belt buckle um, and the leather strap is the thinnest uh, 13 millimeters uh, one which is good for dresses um, as a decorative item rather than holding up pants um, and yes this is a palladium uh, plated metal I think really knowing my skin tone uh, or what color palette works well for my skin tone it's really helped me to narrow down the choices because oh there is so many choices in terms of different leather color combination and belt buckle that I found it quite difficult to pin down on which one I liked um, but finally I have chosen this one uh, mainly because I don't like to wear alphabets um, so definitely the H brand um, sort of logo is not for me um, I did uh, toss between this one and the uh, other one which uh, was the gamma belt buckle um, so it's a subtle H um, but uh, what I decided is that, you know, I might actually, my clothing and knits, if I was to run my uh, long sleeve past my waist, it may, the two vertical lines that sticks up, it may just catches on um, knits. So I decided maybe it's actually better to not, you know, have uh, the belt buckle where it's got, you know, potential sharp edges um, sticking out. Uh, now, how could I miss the opportunity of finding whether there is a, a dress from the ready to wear range um, that Hermes uh, could offer? So this is new in the stock in the uh, physical store uh, in uh, Sydney Hermes um, and you know I did wasn't intending to buy a dress really but um, my essay brought this out and I thought well why don't I sort of try it on with my new belt that I have chosen and see how it matches and once I wear it I do not want to take it off um, and so I splurged on this beautiful beautiful one-piece dress from Hermes um, you can see the subtle uh, uh, pattern on it is the um, the Nausa uh, pattern range um, and I love how soft it feels um, it's a mixture of uh, silk and cotton and polyamide um, so I think I should be able to hand wash this um, when I do need to wash it because guys you know 
I don't like to use the dry cleaners, uh, especially in Australia. I find it so difficult to find good a, dry, a good dry cleaner, and it's not um, environmentally friendly to use the dry cleaner. So yeah, no, you can see it's a blend of cotton and silk. I've picked on the size 36. Uh, the style they call it a uh, rope, but you know, when I do dress it with the buckle uh, it just really instantly elevates this dress uh, from a casual uh, very casual look to more of an elegant look I love the length is the perfect length um, in comparison to other uh, Hermes dress which sort of cuts a bit shorter you can see how the length of the sleeve is uh, it's meant to be long sleeve but it doesn't reaches that long sleeve length for me and that's because I actually have quite long arms and legs in uh, that is a bit disproportionate to my height I have to say so it's not uncommon that I find long sleeve um, tops actually doesn't become long sleeve for me and I actually don't mind uh, with this style because when the sleeve is loose um, if it actually ends at my wrist what I find is it becomes annoying when I wash my hands and you know always get wet um, so I actually prefer a bit of a shorter sleeve to be honest um, and I find when it's a um, looser um, sleeve uh, sort of opening the, the the shorter length doesn't make it look awkward um, it actually just makes it look more free flowing and that it was meant to be sort of cutting a three quarters almost like a three quarter sleeve um, what I don't like is three quarter sleeve that is tight uh, around you know on the on the sleeve opening because I then it just doesn't look as elegant I find it actually looks more like you you're getting ready to um, you know do some physical work which is fine if that's the you know more active sporty look of the garment but I think this garment really the it's, it look it looks more elegant and pairing with my pickle teen 18 I think it's just perfect and I think I've found the perfect dress um, if you've enjoyed this video please consider giving me a thumbs up or leaving and leaving comments down below um, to support my channel um, if you like this type of content uh, please consider subscribing um, until next time you all take care thank you bye